Good evening, Prue Adams with ABC News. Hey Prue, this is my impersonation of Kerry Lonigan. Pip Prue, Pip Prue, Prue, Pip, Pip Prue, whatever. It's been uh, an absolute wild ride with you, Prue. You're uh, much admired by me as a storyteller, as a person who really understands pictures. You can do quirky, you can do quick turnarounds, you can do complex. Uh, you're going to be so missed. I admire you so much and I love you as a colleague and as a very dear friend. Prue, you're a true legend in every sense of the word. You're a master storyteller at heart whose achievements stretch way beyond the horizon. But more than that, you're a smart, funny, awesome human who can juggle raising a family, being an award-winning journalist, a brilliant friend, avid reader, and a preserve and chutney maker. And that's all without raising a sweat and all before lunch. We can't wait to see what comes next, but first, promise you'll put your feet up and enjoy some you time. Hi Pro, another bone chilling midwinter's day here in coronavirus free Queensland. Look, I want to congratulate you uh, not just on your marvellous body of work but the way you went about it. Great substance, great style and you're always a wonderful mentor. You had a particular way to make even the most complex and confusing issues simple and straightforward, yet at the same time very engaging and very entertaining. Goes without saying, the ABC is not going to find it hard to replace you, they're going to find it fucking impossible. Hi, Hi Bru! Goodbye and good luck from the uh, Landlines ACT Bureau. We are so sorry to see you go and are so grateful for all the help you've given us over our time um, helping out with Landline. You're always just so approachable and your knowledge is amazing and you're just such a warm soul. And a beautiful storyteller and I'll never look at a tea bag the same again having drunk from your pot. <laughs> Take care Prue and enjoy the next chapter. Bye. I followed your journey from this distance as you've mastered the arts of storytelling and what to do with your hands in the piece to camera. Well done, Prue. It's been a great journey and just enjoy the next bit, whatever that is. Prue, what an amazing contribution to Landline you've made. I hate to say it, but I hadn't even started school when you started with the program. And there's so much more I wish I could learn from you, but expect many phone calls. I'm gonna keep picking your brain and I can't wait to visit you in Adelaide and enjoy some of the wonderful produce you've got there. Enjoy life after Landline. Prue, I'm willing to bet that you don't remember the first time we met, but it was in the Adelaide newsroom when Simon Royal introduced you to me as senior landline reporter, Prudel, Prudel, fond of doodle, as only Simon Royal could. Congratulations on an absolutely incredible career and thank you for being uh, a mentor and most of all a spectacular friend. I'm really going to miss our chats around the, uh, the building here, but you deserve every happiness and every success. All the best. Hey, Prue, a huge congratulations from two of your biggest fans here at Channel 7. Congratulations on a stellar career, equally at home in a field full of cattle or presenting the news or doing the weather. You're a remarkable achiever and uh, a stellar career to look back on. Now with the weather, we welcome Landline's own Prue Adams. In the north today, pretty warm. Temperatures range from 29 at Wyala and Sajuna to 37 at Roxby. Only a week ago, this little chap tunnelled his way up through a metre of sand to see daylight for the first time at the top of the mound. For quite a few years now, this Warina Cove resort has been just putting along. Range in height between 165 and 172 centimetres. Oh, shit. To say I had my eye on proof from the start would be an understatement. Courage to do something, nil. In the end, she asked me out. Uh, with uh, a couple of other journos, we went on a trip up to the Barossa Valley. The end result, I responded and said, how would you like to go to a Greek wedding in Mildura? 
The rest, as they say, is history. Prue's been on a remarkable journey in the ABC, taken around Australia with Landline and indeed around the world, into the US, China and the UK doing stories. She's an absolute brilliant journalist. Yes, I'm biased. I wish my wonderful wife all the best and we're now looking forward to the next chapter. Love you, darling. Oh, hi, Prue. Uh, God, that's horrible lighting. Um, that's a horrible angle as well. Uh, but anyway, and I haven't had a shave. Anyway, forget that. It's not about me. It's about you. Congratulations on 30 years uh, at uh, at the ABC. That is just a, a sensational um, period of time. You've done so well. Uh, I know everyone's very, very proud of you. I know you're expecting something funny here, but uh, you'll be waiting a long time. I've made a decision to not be funny again ever in, in my life. Um, it was a decision I made. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter when I made it. Uh, that's irrelevant. Uh, but anyway, um, and I can remember the very first time we met, uh, you instantly fell in love with me, which obviously was a lovely thing. But uh, in the end, you, you went for John, which is fine. I, that's, that's something I'm still getting over, but that's fine. It's all fine. Um, so congratulations, wonderful career. And uh, uh, I guess this has sort of come to a bit of an end now uh, with, with not a real high point at the end sort of thing, but that's it. I certainly wouldn't teach that if I was teaching someone how to present on camera because it sort of all fell a bit flat at the end. But congratulations. Hello, Prue. I can't believe you're going, but um, what an inspiration you have been to me. Um, I think the first thing that you ever taught me was about Q fever, which may have changed my life um, and all the other people's lives that I keep telling about Q fever, get your test, get your test. Um, and of course, your leaving has created an amazing opportunity for, for my ongoing future. So I will be forever indebted. Have the best time, Prue. Bye. Prue, this is a bit weird having to say goodbye to you and best of luck. You're someone I've admired from the get-go. You're amazing, you're hardworking, you're inspirational. You're a domestic goddess on top of all the stuff you do at work. I've always said, I just wanna be like you when I grow up. I still do. You're absolutely brilliant. I wish you nothing but the best of luck in life after the ABC and I can't wait to catch up because I'm gonna miss our fast and furious chats in the office about all things marameco, sewing, life's trials and tribulations, but I know we'll do plenty of that on the outside. So not sure if I should toast you with wine or a cup of tea, maybe both. Prue, here's to you, cheers, best of luck. G'day Prue, you've made a terrific contribution over a very long time and you will be missed. All the best for what comes next. Prue, I can't believe you're leaving the ABC. I count myself very fortunate to have worked alongside you for two years and I've always respected the very unique way you tell stories. I know the audience is going to miss you and the ABC will too. Best of luck with the next chapter. I know you're going to write it beautifully. Bye for now. Working with you at the ABC in Adelaide all those years ago now was such a great experience for me, a highlight in my career. And it was due to your support, your mentorship, your friendship at that time and since that made it such a wonderful experience. Thank you so much. I wish you all the very best in life post the ABC. It's such an exciting time and I can't wait to hear what comes next for you. Congratulations. Prue, you'll be missed at the ABC. Uh, on a personal note, um, one of my fondest memories was being locked up in the uh, the broom cupboard upstairs on the third floor, editing your three-part doco series on um, GM. Uh, that was a pretty decent learning curve at the time for me, and I really appreciated um, having having you there sort of help me through it and, and producing that so well. Um, enjoy the next stage of your life, and uh, yeah, we'll see you up in the uh, around the hills. When I think of Prue Adams, the storyteller, I think of things like someone who has clarity of vision, someone who has a softness of touch, someone who has a great presence on the screen and is capable of communicating regional rural stories to the, the great unwashed. You will be greatly missed, Prue Adams, and I can tell you that Q Fever story will live for a very, very, very long time. Hi Prue, come here. Hello Sandra. As a journalist spending my working life in rural Australia, I decided in 2005 to be vaccinated. Agriculture employs more people and generates more economically than any other sector. And it's been hit really hard. 
Why wasn't the manager, Ian Gray, sacked? On my right, it's salty. On my left, it's the end of the mighty Murray. Hi, Prue. I'm going to miss seeing you on Landline. You're a great reporter, a great colleague and a good friend. Thanks for all your support during my time on Landline. I look forward to keeping in touch and I look forward to hearing all your stories of the fun things you're doing in the future. See ya. What an amazing storyteller. What an amazing career. Um, I'm just so proud of you and I wish you all the best for the future. And uh, what would it be without a catch up with Deb and Prue unless we had a cup of tea? So I've got my tea ready here and I'm gonna pop it on and wait till we catch up again. Love to you. Hi Prue, I'm convalescing here at the North Bondi Ranch, but I wanted to say congratulations on a stellar career so far. I'm excited to see where you go from here. Good luck. Hi Prue, I just wanted to say congratulations on a bold move, uh, leaving Auntie all these years. It's been such a pleasure to be even a part of your life and I am so excited to hear about what you get up to in your next instalment of your life. So well done you and we'll see you soon. Prue, congratulations on a wonderful career with the ABC. You'll be sorely missed around here. More importantly for me, you are a beautiful human being as well as a talented journalist. Kind, you're smart, you're savvy, you're generous, and I really hope we stay in touch. All the best. Well, Prue, I'm sad to see you go, but I want you to know I will remember you for essentially three things. Firstly, a career full of well-researched, well-produced, well-presented content for the ABC. Mind you, some of that content proved to be quite expensive. I recall a trip that we did on the GAN that not only covered Anzac Day, but also the entire Easter long weekend. You are credited with giving me the highest single fortnightly pay packet that I ever received. That was in excess of $7,000. But finally, and probably most importantly, you will be remembered because no day ever started without a really strong cup of tea, often shared on the tailgate or the four-wheel drive. Cheers. The one thing I want to say to Prue is thank you. Thank you for your service over all those years reporting on Landline, but most importantly, thank you for letting me have a go while you were out of the scene just for a brief period in the late 1990s. I had to keep up with your award-winning style and I picked up one of these, a lump of wood stuck on a bit sure. of metal. And uh, I know that you've got hundreds of these dotted all around your home, so we'll never forget Randall. Shut him up. And we'll never forget you. <laughs> and by the way, I've got a couple of old blokes here who want to say hello as well. Hello. Hi, Pro. We love you. It's only a lump of wood. It's not journo of the year. Here's to prove. We're drinking tea in your honour, dear. Six. Prue, congratulations on a great career. Always look forward to working on your jobs. Knew there'd be a lot of laughs on the way. Talking about laughs, we met a few characters as well. Marty Wankoff, he was an artificial inseminator for deer in Port Lincoln. We laughed all the way to Port Lincoln after you told us his name. We thought, Prue's not making that up. You also did a lot of jobs on uh, food and wine, and that's when we gave you the title of Food and Wine Queen of Landline. Prue, you're gonna be missed. Have a great retirement. Catch you later. Mm, it tastes good, thanks. I'm about to taste a smoke-tainted 2019 Pinot Noir. That is disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> that is really terrible. <laughs> when you see an all-female lineup like this, you could be forgiven for thinking the girls had taken over the industry. I have to say, that is pretty awesome. There are plenty of them out there, and they're around about that big. I feel the breath on my face. Hi, Prue. Just driving home from work and thinking of the many stories we've worked on together and thinking of the things I've learnt. Um, I've learnt that uh, our packers make a lot of noise when they're having sex and when they're being sheared. Uh, I've also learnt that, uh, you know, the world is a, a fun place with you in it. Uh, but I still have no bloody idea what blockchain is. Hmm, do you know how it works? No, nope. me neither. So hopefully you can ponder on that for your retirement. All the best, good luck. Ah. Ah. 
Mm. Oh, Prue. I've been meaning to speak to you, Prue. Are you sure you're making the right decision? I mean, you're giving up a good job and a steady income. You're going to have to spend a lot more time in your garden, Prue. You're going to have to grow vegetables for you, feed yourself and your family. And the phone won't be ringing every five minutes. And have you thought about grapes, Prue? Have you thought about maybe putting in a grapevine? Now, if you were to grow grapes, well, you could ferment your own fruit juice. And uh, that would help you get through those cold nights in the winter. <coughs> Bit young. And, and there's something else. What about meat, Prue? What are you going to do for meat? On Landline this Sunday, we take a rare look inside the fascinating turtle industry. There are moves to make this more of a year-round meat rather than just festive fare. Talking turkey. That's Landline, Sunday at noon on ABC One. <coughs> Shit. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Come back here. I'm not going to let this one go. And miss out on more week. Alright, come back with you bastards. Here you go. I'm not going to lose you. I'm not sure if that was any good really, was it? Uh, I'm puffing, of, aren't I? Yeah, you are. You sound a bit excited. Yeah. Bit, bit, now, am I on the right spot here? <laughs> Come on, Prue, stop mucking around. <laughs> so, Prudel, fond of doodle, or as the long-suffering John would say, not quite fond enough. Uh, this is to wish you a very, very bon voyage, happy bon voyage, happy whatever comes next which is retirement, and after a year of long service leave, uh, this is what retirement looks like. Gorgeous, isn't it? When I heard you were leaving the ABC, I thought, oh no, we're losing one of our most talented storytellers. I've always loved your storytelling and your TV craft. G'day, Prue. It's hard to believe you're leaving the ABC after such a long and spectacular career. You've done a power of work for the organisation, so congratulations on all of that. I'm going to miss you so much. Thank you for all the help you've given me as City Slicker Journal over the years. I really appreciate it. Congratulations on such a successful career. You should be proud of all you've achieved. All the best in the future. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Lots of love from me and Poppy. Prue, all the very best for the future. I hope we get to see the Akubra and the Dusty Boots occasionally still at the ABC. Running into you in the tea room was always a joy. Um, the ABC is going to be less without your experience, uh, your incredible way of telling a story and a story that I might not understand. You always made it completely understandable. We will miss that and we will miss the great person that you are, the personality that you bring. But all the best for whatever is in the future. I remember when you started at Landline, you looked so young. And now when you're finishing at Landline, you still look so young. I'm sure that you're going off to have a marvellous time. Your endless curiosity will be put to good use, no doubt, and you'll have plenty of fun travelling the countryside, taking your artisan gin and your teapot with you, of course. It's been great working with you, Prue, and I wish you all the very best for the future. Hey, Prue. I don't know how you do this on-air camera business. It's kind of freaking me out. But I just want to jump on and say goodbye. I hope it's not too long before I can see you in real life and wish you well in person. It's been great to get to know you a bit more over the last two years when I've shared the regional Adelaide office with you. You've always been so warm and kind and generous and also extremely calm, except for that one time when your house was on fire and that's totally understandable. You're amazing, Prue. You've had an awesome career and I wish you all the very best for the future. Bye. I'm really lucky to have worked with you for the last three years of your amazing 31 year career with the ABC. Um, I just wanted to wish you all the best for whatever lies ahead for you in the future and um, be great to see you again. I just wanted to say thank you so much for being such an incredible colleague and for being such a wonderful friend to me as well. I've really appreciated all the times that you've helped me and supported me through doing landline stories, but also just in the newsroom, coming past and saying hello. I've really enjoyed seeing your face around and I'm really going to miss it. You've done a great job highlighting 
the small and big farmer and rural stories and it's just been wonderful to watch your career flourish. Congratulations on an amazing stint at the ABC. All the best for what's next. We'll miss you, but I look forward to seeing you on the outside soon. The number one thing I take away from my time spent with you is your parenting skills. When our kids were at school, I very much leaned on you for our weekly catch up to sort of find out what was going on behind the scenes and uh, I learnt plenty from you. Thanks a lot. Good luck for whatever you choose to do in the future. Hello from London, Prue. I just wanted to say a quick congratulations for your stint with the ABC and Landline. You have done some amazing work there and should be really, really proud of the stories that you've told and the really important issues as well that you've shed light on. Um, they must be so gutted to see you go. Uh, you have left uh, such an impression on so many people there, me included. I've always been really grateful for the words of wisdom that you shared with me as a young Noah and a still young reporter back in Adelaide. So thank you for that. LBB here in lockdown central Melbourne. Crazy times we're all experiencing, but wanted to say what a fabulous career you've had at the ABC. We're gonna miss you so much. Thank you for all your friendship and all your hard work over the years. Um, those crazy days, beginning of the P2 cards, they used to drive us nuts. But uh, you and Kerry were always so much fun. Thanks, Prue. G'day, Prue. Apologies for the audio quality. Sound I was asleep in the car. Anyway, congratulations on a stellar career. It's been fantastic working with you. Monty agrees. And in your honour, decided to don the old T-shirt. So, see you on the outside. Hi, Prue. The night I met my wife, she was sitting next to you at an ABC dinner, and I don't know who's going to miss you more, myself or Amanda, who religiously watches Landline, loves your stories, and says they're just that little bit better than Kerry's. That last bit's not actually true. But we've all loved working with you. You're a fantastic storyteller. You're just a nice person, and I wish you all the best for the future. I think you're going to be really uh, a big hole to fill and I, I know that we're going to miss your stories and your humour and all, uh, all that you bring to this role and your knowledge over decades uh, with Landline. Also, uh, I loved our time in the US um, carving up the Midwest uh, together uh, with many laughs and I hope uh, we can catch up again soon for a well-deserved vino. Dear Prudence, I will never forget the time I looked at the list of reporters who were being culled out of the system because of the uh, ABC made an appalling decision to nationalise the uh, 7.30 report and you were off the list of being uh, pirated by one of those um, 7.30 programs and I was, but I was delighted to see you were available and I was also delighted when you immediately accepted the offer of a position at Landline. You've been a wonderful, wonderful person and a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful contributor to that program, perhaps our very, very best storyteller. You'll be missed personally and professionally. All the very best of luck, Pro. Working with you over the last decade really has been the highlight of my career. Um, and I think it's the little things I'm gonna miss the most. It's the weekly debrief sessions. It's brainstorming stories with you because you are the best sounding board. Um, it's popping my head up over the computer screen and seeing your face. It's listening to you on the phone, juggling complicated stories and difficult talent and often alarming phone calls uh, from your children. I'm, I think I'm even going to miss Cranky Prue, who slightly loses her mind when she hasn't had enough food. Um, I'm just going to miss it all. You are the type of reporter I have always wanted to be. You tell a cracking yarn, you go hard when you need to, um, but you're always fair and you're always compassionate. And I just wanna thank you for everything you have brought to the screen, everything you've brought to the office, um, and everything you have brought to my life. Hey Prue, um, I just wanted to say 
best of luck for the future. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure working in the edit suite with you for the last 10 years. Um, you are a bloody legend. You're a um, incredible human being, a true professional, an amazing journo, and I have no doubt, whatever you do outside of ABC, you will do very well. I'll miss you. Cheers, Bru. Well, what adventures we've had, eh? Oh, mate, far and wide, Carl, far and wide. And the laughs we've had, the laughs we've had. Oh, laughs. Like, oh, and all the shopping, don't forget the shopping. Homemade biscuits and tea. Overtime. Oh, mate, mate, it was never about the money. Nah, true that, true. TA was good though. The TA was good, I'll give you that, the TA was good. You know what, mate? I reckon wherever we go in this wonderful land of ours, there'll always be a little bit of Prue with us. Where are we again? Absolutely no idea, Carl. No idea. But hey, look at the view. Mm.